Alright guys, what's up? Brian here representing the Overlay Network bringing you guys an update to Super Heavy Samurais. So Rise of the Duelist I believe gave us the link that we were missing and then I think Eternity Code had the level 5 synchro which I think I had in the last profile and some changes have been made not as heavy as a kaiju lineup more hand traps, I think like three more and a couple of tech choices in terms of like super heavies that I decided to put in and then um, I think some changes to the extra deck too obviously since the link came in and then the combo video did really well so I'm glad people like that it's um, this deck is very cool I've seen a lot of takes on it there's a Machina um, Infinite Track variant where you can turbo out a BFD if he does survive he might get limited to one who knows um, I've seen variants with traps um, I know there's one card that they have which is called Rise to Full Heights, which is pretty interesting. Machina Overdrive was something that I saw people run, running now because it's a good trout card. So, yeah, tons of ways to make it. I went for more of a pure synchro build. I saw people messing around with like the Rordon build too, which is pretty interesting, which kind of helps you synchro, which is the whole gimmick of running the Rordon package. But I went with more of like a pure, still with some kaijus in there, to out Dragoon, because online I'm seeing him a lot. And then, um, yeah. It's like right about it. A lot of stuff that can banish too online. So, um, Lancia is a thing you want to run. I chose not to because that's very matchup specific. And then you could probably figure that out too for your locals too. Um, see what you want to do in. But I feel like Ghost Spell is a little bit better because it's more utility. It doesn't really like, it's not limited to just banishing. And I went with her instead of Lancia for this profile. But yeah, let's get on into it. We're going to start off with the Super Heavy Samurais. We run. Still, three uh, Soul Piece Maker, um, not a hard once per turn. Uh, you can equip this card from your hand or field to a Super Heavy Samurai monster you control. And then they can do piercing damage, which comes up. Not really the main thing that you do with it, but it can come up. And very good to have just in case. There are monsters that cannot be destroyed by battle. And they have a defense, so it can still do some piercing damage. But the main reason he is here is because when he's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can search out any Super Heavy Samurai monster from your deck to your hand. And not a hard one's return. He has a level 4, helping you do some rank 4 plays. But, insane. The nuts. We definitely want to maximize this one because this is the best one, without a doubt. And then the one that took only 4 years to get here, imported from the OCG, is Super Heavy Samurai Wagon. Um, summon, you can change it to the defense position and then change it back to attack mode. And if you do that, you can add one soul samurai card from deck to hand. So any soul card you choose. Uh, Soul Peacemaker, Soul Bolster Gauntlet, Soul, Soul Fire Suit, um, yeah, just any of the Soul cards you want to search out, you can just search it from deck to hand once you do that. And he has a level 4, so you kind of have some search power thanks to him. And some of the combos you can do with some of the level 4s, like uh, Magnet and freaking um, Scales to search him out. It kind of reminds me of some Constellar plays, just because of the little search power they can do. Um, but yeah, he's really good, level 4, Earth, very powerful, very nice. Got to run him at 3, in my opinion. And then we run another 3 of. We run 3 Soul Peacemaker. We equip this card to a Super Heavy Samurai monster to tribute it and, samurai, and special any other Super Samurai Heavy Samurai monster from our deck. So very good. And then on top of that, when you equip it to uh, what's called a samurai, Super Heavy Samurai monster, your opponent cannot target any other monsters for card effects or attacks, I think, for... Except for the one that is equipped to it. So, pretty good. Has that little ability to kind of stun him out. But you mostly use it for its effect to attach and then tribute to special out somebody else. And he has a level 1, so I like him quite a lot. Then we run 3 Super Heavy Samurai Magnet. Um, he was at 2 in the last profile, I believe. But I bumped it up to 3 because he is the Goblin Denberger deck. So when you normal summon him, you can um, special summon another Super Heavy Samurai monster from your hand. Level 4 or lower Super Heavy Samurai monster at that and then change them to defense position. And then if you have two of them set up, they form like a little lock because your opponent cannot attack any other monsters set for this one. So if you have both of them out in defense mode, they gotta attack. They can't attack because they gotta attack either or and then it's a lock. So can't come up, can help, kind of stall, but he's mostly here because of the Goblinberg and helps you, because he, he's a Goblin Denberg and he helps you go into some rank four plays if need be. And then extend a little further. Then we run three scales. Uh, when he's summoned, just doesn't matter, normal or special summon, you can um, target one level 4 or, or lower super heavy samurai monster, special summon in defense position, and pretty good, so you want to be able to get that effect off. The thing that the Link provides now is ability to kind of discard him to special summon him, which is pretty good. Um, 
I like it. It's a very good link. This one, it's a uh, link one. Very good. I like it. We we definitely need it, helping us push a little further now and combo off a little bit more. So three scales, it's kind of mandatory. I think those are the ones you got to run at three along with Trumpeter at three because he is not hard once per turn along with um, Soul Pierce Maker. And then just got to, you know, if you have no spell and traps in the graveyard, which is the gimmick of Super Heavy Samurai, you can special summon, special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, you're locked into Super Heavies, but he's a level two Earth Tuner, which helps you just Synchro Shoken into some of your big boys. And Searchable, thanks to Peacemaker. And then I bumped down um, Battle Ball to two. Um, three was getting kind of cloggy, especially with a heavy Kaiju lineup. It was also getting kind of weird. It's like I have too many Kaijus, not enough Super Heavies. So I cut down on that. And then if all monsters you control are super heavy, you can target one monster your opponent controls and use that monster as synchro material. So you can even bypass the requirements for Steam Train King. So when you give him the Kaiju, the level 10 one, Jizukiru, you can go into that one. But we do two super heavy uh, two now because we can recur it thanks to um, Scarecrow. Scarecrow is really good. So we're only running at two. And then, yeah, very good. Love him. Wait, bumped him down, but it was necessary and then a new addition to the deck because I like him it's Super Samurai Samurai Big Waraji um, if you have no spell and travel cards in the graveyard again the whole gimmick of the deck you can special summon this card from your hand and then you special summon him you are locked into Super Heavy Samurai Monsters special summoning so be aware of that just be very aware of that because you don't want to lock yourself out of certain things and then he's just good because he's level 5 helping you synchro shoken if need be without committing to a normal summon sometimes which is awesome so if you have Trumpeter and him, you can just go into level 7 attack for game directly, which is nice. And then, um, I just like him because he's, you know, does a Cataclysm Normal Summon. And he counts as two tributes, too, for a Machine Monster. So there is that, too. So if you want to bring out your Big Bang K, you know, if you have a hand, special summon him, use his tribute. Big Bang K, you have that option. So I run him at 2, 3 does get cloggy, and 2 just feels right. And a new addition to a deck, very, I like it, very much needed, for me at least my playstyle. And then we bumped down Big Van K to 1 because 2 was getting bricky at 40 and then I was just running into the situation bro where it's like I just had him and then nothing else that I could really bring out and I'm just like dude he's searchable he's at 1 um, he needs to be at 1 I mean Sekka Light's not at 3 anymore so yeah there's that we run 1 Big Van K because he just lets all your monsters, uh, super heavy samurai monsters attack in defense mode and 3500 is nothing to laugh at big booty level 8 and then 1 um, super Heavy Samurai Soul Horns, so you can uh, equip this card from your hand or field to target one Super Heavy Samurai monster you control. It can make up to two attacks during the battle phase. So not bad at all, pretty good. And then really nice addition to the deck. And then we still run one Soul Buster Gauntlet. Pretty much during either player's turn, when your opponent, when your Super Heavy Samurai monster battles, you can discard it to double its defense. Help me push for the OTK. And not bad. And then we run one Trumpeter now. Uh, I think I had him at two in last profile, but he's still good because he still protects your Super Heavy Samurai monsters from targeting. Um, so when you can pitch out, when you have him in hand, you can use him as the pitch for your Scarecrow. And then Scarecrow can just uh, bring back whatever else you want besides him. And then he he's only effective in the graveyard, so which is why we run at one. Now we can search it out. And then I don't want to open. Two can get... Two is awkward at times because um, you don't always go into your link one. But um, at one feels right. You can always side deck it in. And then when he's in the graveyard, you can just banish him to protect your super heavy center monster from your target and negate and destroy that card. So very good. Very nice. And then we run one super heavy samurai soul fire suit. So you can equip this card from your hand or field to target one super heavy center monster you control. It makes it a level five, so it helps you adjust your levels to do some single plays if need be. But then um, it also offers target protection by um, during either player's turn when your opponent act activates uh, during either player's turn you can discard this card make one super heavy cyber monster you control lose 800 defense points and it cannot be destroyed by battle card effects this turn so pretty good offers protection it is searchable thanks to wagon and it is one of the soul cards so I had to run it now because there's a lot of crackdowns there's a lot of uh, it's called lost wins there's just there's a lot of back row now a lot of targeting stuff and then um i i really don't like that because you're putting so much into one play and you're trying to otk that you don't want any targeting um type of things going down and then new addition to a deck also is one super heavy samurai fist when a super heavy samurai monster battles um synchro monster that battles and destroys a monster you can immediately after that happens um special summon him 
to synchro summon using that monster and this monster you control. And yeah, it has to be those two monsters only. So a synchro and him him. So level two, but the main reason is here is because you want to pitch him because you can, if he's in the graveyard, you can target one super heavy samurai synchro monster you control, reduce this level by one, and then special summon from the graveyard. So in the occasion that you do bring out the feather duster, uh, your ogre shoots shoot Tendohi, he has a level 6, so you have him in the graveyard, target him, make a level 5, um, bring him back out, synchro shogun into level 7, and then etc. Same thing goes for the level 7, you synchro into level 7, he's in the graveyard, becomes level 6, um, target him, using his effect to make him level 6, synchro into the level 8. So it just helps you, you know, keep on climbing the synchro, uh, chain, the synchros um, of super heavies, and then I like bringing them all out, and they all offer a really interesting little utilities uh, you, you, uh, effects that are like utility to me and then I like him he's at one um, new addition really good helps you keep on synchro summoning and help you meet those uh, line up with those levels that you want to line up with so we run run him and then for the kaijus we run one gamma seal I mean one Jizakiru and then two gamma seal cut it down to three because it was getting kind of weird seeing so many in my hand and I wasn't a fan of that, so we cut it down. So we just use it mainly to get rid of problems like Dragoon. And then we run three Sarvis, the Ancient and the Descendant, because it's kind of like a call by the grave, because it protects any monster we control from targeting. So very good. And then uh, not a hard one's return too, so there is that. Then for the hand traps, I'm running three Ghost Bell. Ghost Bell is just, you know, diverse this format. Doesn't restrict you like Lancia, so we run her. Because Lancia only does banishing, so she offers more utility, I guess. And then 3 Ash because it's just universal. And then that's it for the main deck guy. Let's get into the extra deck. The extra deck hasn't really changed much. We still run one Steam Straight King. Just so good. I mean, the burn damage you can do to push for OTK is just insane. And then two Susanoo. Um, I mean, the fact that it's a quick effect, letting you take some of their spell and traps from the grave for you to set and then having them banished is pretty insane. So, I mean, you got to run him. Just at two is nice because I really like seeing bumping him out a little bit more than Steam Train King. But yeah, we run two Susanoo. I mean, kind of the boss monster of the deck. And then we run two Ogre Shuten Dohi. Really good card. Just your heartbeats for the Duster. When he Synchro Summon has to be when he Synchro Summon. And level six. So, pretty easy to go into, honestly. And then. The fact that we run the fist now is pretty good, so we can go to some of the other synchros. And then we run one stealth ninja. I mean, just really good. I mean, when he's destroyed, I mean, when he's destroyed, he just comes back one more time thanks to his effect. And then he can let you attack directly by halving his defense to do such a thing. So, pretty good. Level 7, generic. Earth Machine doesn't require Super Heavy Samurai Monsters, just needs a tuner and a machine. So, very good. Helps you steal games when <laughs> you shouldn't be winning them. And then, once you Tendohi, I mean, the fact that you can pop back row and then do some burn damage on top of that is pretty nice. So, I like him. 28. Level 8. And then, one Kuyobi. I mean, level 9 can be weird to get into but since we are running the fist now it isn't as hard to get into him and then when your opponent does special has a bunch of monsters that are special summoned on the board he gets really big really fast and then equipping him with soul horns is always nice and then we run the level 5 synchro muyashi i mean when he synchro summon just lets you target one machine monster in your graveyard add it to your hand you can't use this effect for the rest of the turn but recycling is good and the fact that we can bump him down into level 4 now Thanks to, fit to, thanks to Fist to go into the Ogre is very good. So, I like running him. And then we run two of the Scarecrow. So, new addition to the deck, if you guys know what he does. You take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. If you have no spell and traps in your gra graveyard, which is the whole gimmick of the deck, you know, that's how it goes. You take no battle damage. So, make sure you have no spell and traps. But, yeah, I'm not running any spell and traps, so there's that. So... His other effect is you discard one monster, it has to be a monster, it doesn't have to be super heavy or anything, to special summon one super heavy samurai monster in your graveyard. So you can even discard, um, for instance, let's say the battle ball, and then special summon the battle ball, thanks to his effect, and then just good, it has to be to his only points too, so be aware of that. Don't use up your zone, you don't want to make that rookie mistake. And then he's at two because there's always a possibility somebody's running Valor, but Gamma's more prevalent right now. But you don't want to get a gamma, and then yeah, this just kind of sucks. 
but so you run two and then you can bump it up to three but it doesn't ever come up at three but I do go into the second one quite a bit here and there and then for the rank four we're just gonna go with some good ones at least what I think are good ones we go one Baguska to stall out one exit sound night in case um, you know our hands our hands are always gonna be smaller and our fields are always gonna be smaller just because we're not gonna be trying to go into a grind game but and abyss dweller and then gear Gigante, gear Gigante X to search out any lo any machine monster we need from our deck to our hand level four or lower, and that does it for the deck profile, guys. I'm gonna try to come at you with some combos with this deck. I really, really, really like Super Heavy. It's just such a fun deck. I mean, like I said, I always wanted a deck with just pure monsters, and then Super Heavy just so happened to meet that requirement. And it was very budget, and it still is very budget. So I, I recommend you guys get it while you guys can. Um, you won't always lose. The win ratio is like 60-40. Sometimes going on 70 on a good day, depending on your matchup. But it's like 60-40, really, on a good day. And it's like 50-50, uh, other than that. But lots of different rarities. Everything's pretty much common or rare, for the most part, as you guys can see. Um, I was supposed to do this for Skull Servant instead, but Skull Servant got really expensive out of nowhere. Not out of nowhere. I mean, if you're a fan of the archetype, you would have seen it coming. But... um. Well, this was supposed to be Skull Serum, but I just wanted to update Super Heavy because the combo video has done so well. And on top of that, I just wanted to show you how I've been running it lately. After the hit to O-Lion, the profile kind of changed a lot. And that kind of sucked, and then I was trying to run the Colt Wings, and it wasn't really working out. But still, an awesome little fun deck that you can take and you won't always lose, and catches people by surprise to this day. A lot of different ways to make it. Um, check out the Machina variant with it. Very dirty, very powerful, Has run, runs via deep. Um, just wanted to show you what I'm running with. And then, yeah, Brian Wingo Overlay Network signing out.